Hey everyone, I'm Cubastic and today I have on my desk a huge package from the cubicle.us and there are many different puzzles inside. I have to say that there are 800 bucks worth goods and this is the largest and most expensive package I have ever had on my desk. And now I'm going to show you what is inside. Here we go. For real, it is a huge package, really huge, gigantic, and now we will take a closer look at each puzzle that I have, and let's start with the most unusual. I have definitely never seen anything like this, this is the first puzzle of the size in my life, this is Rubik's Cube one by one by one. Pretty well done, pretty good materials, and pretty comfortable in use. This is most likely a speed model. How long do you think it will take me to solve it? Okay, this is actually a joke, and the one by one Rubik's Cube is here only to keep my collection complete, and later you will understand what I mean. Next we have a Rubik's Cube 2x2, and this is 2x2 from Vok. It is called uh, Vok 2M, and I have never unpacked this cube either for the first time I hold it in my hands. I have a strange story with uh, 2x2 in general, I don't really like solving them, but I would like to really practice and achieve good results in the solving of uh, this simply looking puzzle. And I think this cube will help me. Vok, a beautiful box. It all looks premium, amazing. Since when people started packing puzzles like iPhones? It is just a piece of art, look at this. And how to remove this stuff from it? Aha, uh -huh, here it is. Wow, amazing. Not only the package, it in general looks amazing. The standard size 2x2 Rubik's Cube with colored plastic, I want to hold it in my hands as soon as possible. Here it is, Mr. Handsome. Wow, listen, well, it's rotating amazingly. By the way, did you know that a 2x2 cube is actually a 3x3 cube, but here the central middle edges are hidden inside the mechanism? Like it if you knew this fact. If not, like it too, just for learning some new information. Awesome cube, I really love the way it looks when packaged. The way it was packed is amazing. There are a lot of additional details here, at least here are these springs, in order to change the inflexibility of this cube. And also, inside the box there is some kind of a weird case, probably with… yes, with the instructions. Here we have… Uh, <laughs> I'm in love with it. This is a rack for wiping a Rubik's Cube after a sweaty solving, or after lubrication of a cube. And here are the cards with the training on how to solve a 2x2 cube. Let's put everything back, we will not spend a lot of time on this particular cube, because we have a lot more ahead of us. Moving on. By the way, in order to find out the price for each of these Rubik's Cubes, you can simply follow the link in the description, and not only find out how much each of these puzzles costs, but also purchase them and possibly other puzzles for yourself. At the cubicle.com store you will find a Rubik's Cube literally any modification, any size, for any taste and any budget. 
In addition, excellent service, a user-friendly website and worldwide delivery awaits you. You can get a discount using my special promo code CUBASTIC, link in the description. Probably the most desired Rubik's Cube is here. And this is the most expensive 3x3 that only exists. I'm talking now about speed cubes. Brand new GAN 11M Pro. To be honest, I want to prolong this moment a little longer, because it's just an amazing box. Simply amazing packaging. Wow. Immediate proof that it is real premium quality. Real premium. An official card that tells us that this is not a fake, this is a real cube, here is its serial number, can you imagine? All in all, this cube is mine. Further, here we have some additional cards with a tutorial, and this is a personalized tutorial that will be able to me only after I enter the pin code that is hidden here. Here it is. It is there, inside, I will not show it to you so that you don't watch my tutorial. You better watch a tutorial on my channel, I'm sure it's much better. Now comes the fun part. Ok, now here comes the fact why I was ready to pay such crazy money for it. And this box, and this stunning white box, here comes the cube. Just look at it. This is amazing. Here we have such a gun stamping on the back side. If we click on these two parts, the box will open. Oh my god, how awesome it is! And I myself realized the way it works like that. So, we may close it, and if we press a little here, it will open. <laughs> how amazing it is! Damn, just look at this. Ooh, beauty. The magnets are just perfect, really tight, awesome. The most interesting thing is uh, that we can customize them, but I will tell you about this later, in a detailed review of this Rubik's Cube. Therefore, do not forget to subscribe and I ask you to turn on notifications, press the bell, select all notifications, even if you have already done so, turn it off and turn it on again. Because YouTube just doesn't show my videos to my subscribers sometimes. It's so sad, but nevertheless, let's move on. And it seems to me that this is the fastest 4x4 Rubik's Cube ever existing. It is called AOSU WRM 4x4. Magnetic version, speed cube, as you remember there is a 3x3 of WR version, means world record. And this is the 4x4 world record, does this mean that I can set a world record with it? Everything looks super cool, I love the way the cubes are packed. When I just started doing speed cubing a few years ago, the cubes were not packed at all. At all, Carl. Or they had really bad packaging, and here I get excited after each unpacked cube. And this is how 4x4 looks like, but the most important thing is not how it looks, but how great it turns and how awesome the magnets are. It certainly looks amazing. Wow, I really like it. And of course, uh, there are additional details here. What is it? Here is a tutorial in which, if expanded, you can see all the details, portraits of uh, all the people who are involved in this cube and uh, in this company. And naturally, the best, coolest, most important people in this company are on my cards. Like these ones. Did you recognize this person? Write in the comments if you did. And of course, a screwdriver, in order to adjust the cube and additional magnets of different sizes. By the way, we have bigger ones and smaller ones. Ok, we sent 4x4 to our collection and move on, because now there will be something that I have been waiting for a long time. I always wanted to have large Rubik's cubes, large sizes, and these are cubes from 5x5 and more, which can be solved really quickly. For that, they must be magnetic, of high quality and, of course, really expensive. Now let's unpack the 5x5. I really like that all the packages are quite different and unusual, they are really interesting. And inside the box, uh, look, it's pretty big, so beautiful by the way. UJ MGC 5x5. Everything is as it should be. So inside of course 5x5 and additional accessories. Let's start with them, why not? The box looks like this. And what do we have inside? Wow, quite a lot! 
instructions. Here is such a special shaped screwdriver for setting the cube, additional various springs and additional magnets. So this is magnetic 5x5. Each layer is magnetized and movement of each side after a full rotation will pose our cube a little. That's what I mean. And now here it was fixated with a magnet. Here too. Do you feel it? Do you hear this? It's the same here and here on every layer. This is made for better control at high speed. By the way, how well it turns! Really? I will turn the cube really quickly and naturally there is a great risk that I will simply get lost in the algorithm or turn some extra steps. This is especially dangerous when there are a lot of layers, for example on a cube 5x5 or more. And these magnets do not allow me to turn the layer too much and lock the sides of the cube in every 90 degrees. This helps a lot with speed solving. This is 5x5 and something tells me that 6x6, which I have here, will also be great. Here we go. By the way, for those who are not only interested in cubes, in one of the next videos I will show and solve an extremely interesting wooden puzzle. Subscribe and turn on notifications. The videos come out on Tuesdays and Fridays, so don't miss them. Wow, I love unboxing so much, you cannot even imagine. Unfortunately, it is often impossible to make such videos, because I rarely make such large orders, and all of this costs a lot. So what do we have there? And inside is 6x6, yes. And a 6x6 cube, yes. The same equipment as in the 5x5 cube, and I'm interested in trying the 6-layer puzzle with magnets. It is so interesting to rotate it. Wow! And here too, each layer has magnets, each layer is magnetized. If you look closely, then on this 6x6, each edge is literally a millimeter wider than the central part, you see? This corner square is slightly larger than the central one. This is done so that the 3 by 3 stage can be solved much faster on the external layers. And maybe it will work. We will see this in the solvings when I will deal directly with uh, this puzzle. And by the way, I plan to solve each of these puzzles for speed and do it in a row. Sounds like a great challenge. In one of the following videos, I will definitely scramble each of these puzzles completely and solve them one by one. We will see how long it takes me to make it. By the way, I almost solved it. Six by six, moving on. Seven by seven, which is also really interesting, because here we have another manufacturer and something tells me that this is a premium seven. When I was choosing it on the site, I hoped it was the best existing ever. This is how it looks. The box, by the way, is more simple, but I'm sure this puzzle is way above its competitors. This is what a 7x7 cube looks like, and here we see the small logo on the white side. As you can see, it is not black, but gold, and this already says of its premium quality. Let's try to make the first move. Wow, and here too each layer is magnetized, each movement is fixed and feels completed at each turn. It looks just incredible, and it already looks quite heavy, because there are a lot of layers here. The central part looks strange, because as you can see such holes here are a little darker, and between the central elements they are lighter. All this is done like that, because inside all central elements are made out of the premium quality plastic, like here. It is more resistant and therefore the cube doesn't look old because of frequent solvents. So the plastic simply doesn't deteriorate. It is quite dense and has a good structure, and it can be solved lots and lots of times without fear that it will fray. And now here come the giants. There are Rubik's cubes in sizes from 8x8 to 12x12. Let's unpack each of them, look at them and see how well or badly they turn. This video is sponsored by the cubicle.com store.
And now the biggest one is 12 by 12. God, I have such amazing feelings now, to be honest. There are not some small cubes, they are giants. 12 by 12 is just a giant cube. I'm afraid to imagine how long I will be solving it. But do you know what I like here? That all these cubes look amazing. They turn pretty well. Good, really good. And they are quite compact. I remember a time when the 11 by 11 cube was the largest cube in the world. It turned badly, had a pretty odd shape and was incredibly expensive. And now 11 by 11 is on my table and it's not the biggest one. And nevertheless, it turns pretty well. Great! I used to dream of such a cube and that it may turn like that and now it's on my desk. Now let's see how they look in comparison. An 8x8 eight eight cube? Oh my god, it's such a small size! It feels like it's 4x4. Four four. It feels so good in my hands, it turns pretty well. Considering that it is a budget version of the 8x8 eight eight cube, it is quite compact and turns well. And so this is 8x8, eight eight. then comes 9x9, nine nine, literally a little bit bigger than the previous one. Then it's already 10x10, ten ten. this one is already pretty huge, it feels like a real giant in your hands. But some time ago, if I'm not mistaken, 7x7 seven seven normally were of this size. Now let's move on to 11x11 11 11 and 12x12. 12 12. Here is such a big one, but nevertheless, it fits perfectly in the hand and turns well. By the way, for some reason 12 is turning the best. Yes, it's probably tuned well, we need to customize the rest, but that's not the end. Wait for it, ladies and gentlemen, Rubik's Cube 13 by 13. Naturally, I sold Rubik's Cubes of the bigger sizes, but for a full collection I just needed it. This is... Come on, come here! This is a real giant. Rubik's cubes such as 13x13 are already considered a unique product. Although they are mass produced, but they are extremely rare because they are pretty expensive and because they are difficult to manufacture. And yet, right now, I have a 13x13 cube in my hands. Naturally, it has a slightly rounded shape, only because it would be rather problematic to make it completely square. They were able to make a 12x12 to be square, but 13x13 will not be so easy. I understand that you are not surprised even with these sizes of puzzles, but if you liked it, then be sure to let me know about it in the comments. And summing up today's video, I want to tell you that I unpacked this box today for a reason. This will be a full set cool video of soul wins, as I said, and I really hope that you will support me in creating it. In order for this video with all these puzzles to come out as quickly as possible, be sure to like this one and as soon as we get 15,000 likes under this unboxing, I will start filming a video about the solving of this cool collection. Guys, thank you all so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this video and you are glad that I'm back in Speedcubing. That was Cubastic, goodbye everyone and have a good time. Bye.